weather has a lot of folks sprucing up their homes for Christmas, but before you start putting up those lights, you might want to consider some tips to keep safe. Some of the roofs are really, really steep. We have to use ropes and harnesses. Matt Taylor is in the business of putting up lights. He's been doing it for years and has learned a few new things about safety along the way. If it's wet, you can't get on a roof. I mean, the roof gets super slick when it gets wet. If it's foggy, it produces precipitation. You can't get up there. Um, and no doubt, a good ladder is important. <clears throat> fiberglass, honestly, it's just in case it if anything electrical ever happens, you're not going to get electrocuted. But. And a tire plays a part in it too. I mean, if you're going to get on the roof, I would get some good shoes that are tied tight and have like a foam bottom on them. It gets, gets you a little more grip. But there's much more to consider before conquering those Christmas lights. If you are dealing with electricity, uh, you want to make sure uh, that all of the equipment on your home is functioning correctly and that you don't have frayed wires or something that uh, could potentially shock you or something that could potentially uh, over time wear down and, and perhaps catch fire and, and do damage to your home. And he says to never underestimate low voltage. You might have a strand of Christmas lights that's not the same voltage as uh, the distribution line that's coming into the back of your home. Um, but that's not to say that that lesser amount of voltage cannot harm you. Um, and if you have a particular uh, medical condition, um, any level of voltage can be dangerous. Brenda Lipinski, KLBK.